the new defense strategy, remember, goes along with, with the new resource uh, environment, mm -hmm. which means that we are all going to have to do things differently. And so the decision to close 17th Air Force, uh, to merge the Air Operations Centers for that support European Command and Africa Command into a single Air Operations Center, mm -hmm. and then to consolidate those numbered Air Force staffs with the headquarters staff was direction from originally the Department of Defense and then the Department of the Air Force. So we've tried to do that in a way that allows us to continue to do all the key and essential activities that support U.S. European Command and U.S. Africa Command. The difference for us in the future will be that we're doing it with fewer people now mm -hmm. at the headquarters level for sure. So we will have to prioritize in a way that's maybe more meaningful than it's been in the past. Um, we will have to figure out how to provide the right level of prioritization for tasks to UCOM and AFRICOM, mm -hmm. and they're going to be the ones who actually make that decision. We'll support everything we can mm -hmm. up to a point where we don't have the resources to do both, and then we'll ask mm -hmm. them to get together and figure out the priority. The reality is we're not going to get more aircraft over here to do both, so yeah, assigned yes. forces are not going to increase. Yeah. So what we're going to have to do is think about doing less, but making sure we do the right things. Okay. Um, over the last couple of years, for example, between Euro Europe and African nations, of the 105 countries that we support in both AORs, mm -hmm. Uh, we've had, I think it was uh, roughly 1,700 engagement activities two years ago, and it's up to about 2,200 this past year. To us, that's an awful lot of activity. Mm -hmm. And as we downsize, mm -hmm. we're going to have to figure out if it's the right activity. And if it's not, we're going to have to prioritize better, do the key and essential things that really benefit U.S. AFRICOM and U.S. European Command, and some of the rest of it probably can't happen.